Hey guys, Duke Nukem 4343 here, and today I'm going to show you how to use PCSX2 to emulate Dark Cloud and, and, and generally any other ROM you may want to emulate. So the first thing you want to do is go to the PCSX website, which is the emulator we will be using. So go to PCSX2.net, go to the dow download section, and then download, if you're using Windows, use Windows, Linux, etc, etc and then download, I guess, the most current installer is, which I, is what I used. And then once that installs, there should be a shortcut on your desktop. Open that up. And there will be some setup required, but I recorded this previously, ex and GeForce Experience decided not to record my audio, so you don't get to see that unless... Yes. Okay, so this is what you will see. Basically, it'll ask you to it'll download all your plugins, and then it'll ask you to select a BIOS, which you can get from your PS2, which I have no idea how to do, or you can just download one off the internet and navigate to the BIOS directory, select the BIOS, and then click Apply. And then you want to download your ROM for your game, which can be found at MU Paradise. Or, or if you have the CD, you can just rip the CD and that way, which I did not do. I had a friend give me his copy. So then you want to go to find your where your ISO is located. In this case, it's located in this directory. Will not be the same for you, probably. Oh, just close that out. So you want to go to CD, DVD, ISO selector and then browse and then it, you should go to your directory so let's just say it defaults to download so I would go to where the ISO is located double click on it and then it'll be selected and then to boot the game you either simply use reboot CD DVD full or fast full goes through the whole process fast skips the splash screen and all the nostalgia -y goodness so I'll reboot fast and you won't get this the first go round. I was running this previously to test it. And there we go. Now, good. Now there is a good thing to mention here that you will not see perfect performance. There will be visual artifacting. There may not be sounds, which I don't hear sounds. Yes, there are no sounds. So you would you have to go through your plugins and configure them. So I'll be right back after I get the audio working. All right, and we're back. And after configuring the controller plugin, which is a relatively simple matter, just click the button you want, and then just hit the corresponding button, and you should be fine. And then configuring the audio plugin, which I, the only thing I really had to do was select direct sound instead of no sound, which you would think would be fairly obvious, but uh, that took me a while to notice. Such a professional. And you can also select interpolation, which you can go for nearest, which is fast but bad quality, or this is closest to the PS2. And then as for configuring your video plugins, for some reason the default works best for me, but that's only work running at a the default PS2 resolution, which you can go higher, which I will not go through in this tutorial for just simplicity's sake. Now, I would recommend going on the PCSX2 wiki, since everyone's setup is different, and you can find other types of configurations on here, such as speed hacks and known issues, which there are sometimes you work away workarounds, other times there are not. So without further ado, let's get started with the game and see if it works. Oh, and a quick side note: to get a ROM, go to MU Paradise and just like search for a letter corresponding to the first letter of your game. Scroll down to what you want, and then Dark Cloud should be right there, or any other game. Heck, you could be looking for Goldeneye for all I care, or for all I know. 
there is a GoldenEye game on, on PS2. It's called GoldenEye Rogue Agent. It's quite good. In my opinion, at least. It's a little underrated. And I can't seem to mix the audio. The main menu seemed fine. No glitches. This little menu bit seems fine. But we'll know once we get to the cutscene because that is actual in-game gameplay. Blah 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 blah. You've seen this all already in my first episode of my Let's Play, which if you haven't, you should go watch that. Shameless plugging. Although I guess it's not really shameless. Eh. Now I may or may not redo this series because my um I did lose my save after I got my new computer. Okay, so let's us see how this works. Now you do want to get around 60 FPS because everything will run seamlessly then, but as you noted there I got a FPS drop to about 40. It's still playable, it's just the audio will sound slightly distorted but it's working just fine and that's how to configure your game now if you want to use cheats you can click enable cheats and then or wait I'm thinking of the N64 emulator I never got this to work on PCSX2 well you can always use cheat engine which there are a few cheat tables floating around on the cheat engine forums. Which all you have to do is load P um, it into the PCSX2 executable and then modify the v values and you should be fine. So, without further ado, that's finished. If you enjoyed that, leave a like rating below. Leave a comment. If you didn't like it, Leave a dislike and tell me what I could do better. Goodbye.